I knew that this action scene was going to be an essential part of the film, so I initially wanted to make this very creative and cool, never before seen kind of an action scene. I had the aspirations to do that. There's a fight scene so memorable and famous you've probably already seen it, even if you've never watched the movie it came from. Shot in a single, unbroken take, this hallway fight scene in Park Chan-wook's 2003 revenge film Old Boy sees the protagonist Oh dae -soo fight his way through a single corridor full of thugs while he's armed with nothing but his fists and a household hammer. 20 years after the release of Old Boy, Park Chan-wook sat down with IGN to explain how this scene came about and how the director feels about it knowing that many other directors have paid homage to the scene, particularly those making superhero movies. On the surface, Old Boy is a story of a man who was mysteriously kidnapped and held prisoner for 15 years. Then, one day, he was released without any explanation. Given a suitcase full of cash and burning questions in his heart, Odezu sets out to find his former captors. The hallway fight scene which takes place after Odezu is freed is the standout fight scene in a movie full of memorable moments, both beautiful and grotesque. According to director Park, the scene was always going to be difficult to pull off and required plenty of setup to prepare. So initially when I was storyboarding it, I made it very complex and very fancy. Based on that, we choreographed the whole scene with our martial arts specialist as well. So the stunt coordinator and our cast and the stuntmen who played the enemies in the scene, they practiced the choreography for months. Once the scene was practiced, it was time for the dress rehearsal, something Park likened to staging an opera. So after we had built the set, we did another practice on set. So it was kind of like a dress rehearsal for an opera. Everyone was in costume and we also had the camera set up and we did our final rehearsal on the set of the scene. However, much like the live wriggling octopus Odesu eats an old boy, Park found that once the cast and crew began readying to film the scene, it began to evolve and take on a new life of its own. So with our actor Chen min -shik, I asked him to do a rehearsal without stopping. So in the actual shoot, we would have planned these menu setups where you could just cut it every moment. But since this is a rehearsal, you can go through the whole thing from start to end. But because it's going to be a lot of work, I told him to do it slowly without putting too much energy into it. So I was watching it from the monitor, uh, and even though he didn't put all of his energy into it, when we finished from the start to the finish at the ending of the scene, he was so tired that after he heard cut, he plopped down on the ground and he was panting and sweating like crazy. And watching him like that actually gave me a new source of inspiration. Watching his lead actor pant and sweat after a slowed down version of the fight scene unlocked something for Park. After all, as Park says, this isn't even a fight scene that involves the main villain of the movie. So there's no reason to make it as complex as I initially did in the storyboard. So just to add on to that, um, this would be the man not even hired by the main villain, mm -hmm. but this is men hired by the man who was hired by the main villain. Why was this scene so complicated when it wasn't even the final battle? And if it wasn't about the action, what's the actual essence of this scene? Park found his answer in the gasping form of his leading star. It wasn't the action, but the loneliness, the weariness, and the exhaustion of his journey. Because even more than these action sequences and choreography, it's the fatigue that I'm witnessing now that really matters more. And when watching him, watching our main character, Odesu, surrounded by so many people and fighting from this wide angle, he looked so lonesome because he was locked up for 15 years. And when he was finally released, he didn't know anyone and there was nobody who could help him. And I really felt that loneliness by watching him like that. Finally, I thought about how long it was going to take to go through all of these setups that I had initially planned. And I knew that it was going to take weeks. So it was just very tiring for me personally. And I knew that if we go about like this, then we could get it done in a day or two. This hallway fight scene has been referenced many times since it premiered, whether in movies like The Raid, TV shows like Netflix's Daredevil, and even video games like Sifu. It is one of the most iconic action scenes of the 21st century, with new DC Studios boss James Gunn citing Old Boy as one of his favorite comic book movies of all time, as it was originally based on a Japanese manga of the same name. He even says his space hallway fight in Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 is itself a send-up to Park's original fight scene. But as for director Park, he says he is honored by the homages, but has personally not seen much of any of them. I've never personally seen them, but I have heard of it. Since Old Boy, Park has moved away from vengeance with movies like The Handmaiden, a 20th century con film set in Japanese-occupied Korea, 
or decision to leave a romance murder mystery. But even without needing to watch Park's movies, you'll likely see his influence in action movies for many more decades to come. Old Boy has been re-released in theaters this year to celebrate its 20th anniversary. For more on all things action, keep it here on IGN.